With an aim to increase scientific temper amongst youth, rebuild India Trust, illumination building minds, organize CV Raman Rolling Trophy in association with SES School of Symbiosis, Sharada. The event saw a participation of 12 students from six schools. The participants had a range of events from science-based quizzes, projects, puzzles and experiments. Abhay Bhamaikar, Chairman, Rebuild India Trust said that there is a need to change the pattern of teaching where students are taught to think alternate solutions. He said that science gives direction to technology and we need to find solution to issues like India's population and hunger since India is at 104 on the Global Hunger Index India. Today, Spectra 2022, uh, we are celebrating National Science Day and we are going to have various competitions for Ponda and Kapem Taluka schools. The competitions are like this, science puzzles, science quiz, science experiments, science projects, solution design and we have invited 12 students of standard 8th and 9th and there are altogether 6 students from each school. They will be participating in this competition and we have got a CV Raman rolling trophy. At the end of the day, we will decide which school puts the hand on this trophy. And the whole idea of this uh, event is to see that uh, more CV Raman should be born in our country. And we feel that it is uh, uh, the school that uh, can actually nurture the children at the very young age. And that is what is our purpose. So I thank... Uh, Rebuild India Trust for associating with us. I thank National Council Science and Technology Communication. I thank Goa State Council Science and Technology, in fact, who have sponsored this program for us and uh, look forward for a very uh, dashing performance from all the students from Ponda and Kapem Taluka. So thank you. I thank my staff members and students for putting up such a fantastic uh, show and my sincere thanks to the uh, chief guest for today's uh, function, uh, a retired scientist, uh, Sir Arvind Saran. Your enlightening words were very inspiring to all my students. Total, total 12 schools? Total 12 schools and from each school there are 6 students participating and this uh, are day long events and altogether we have got 72 budding scientists invited from Ponda and Kapem Taluka. He did not get a direct answer to it. He did some study on that, he did some uh, experiment on that and then the main thing comes and I feel that uh, this part, teacher and we as a society, we need to help students, that is analysis part. I am going the observation I look at and directly conclude on what This is what we studied more. Instead of that, if you give them formula, if you give them some uh, different kind of tools to tell them, okay, what I get, observation I look at the solution you check And solution you could also check now, solution char one passage also check that. Because marks is not the ultimate aim, not ultimate aim of a student. Solving problems of the society should be the ultimate aim of the student. And at last, as I said, conclusion. But the whole point is, science gives direction to the technology. As I said in the beginning only, science of today is technology of tomorrow. But technology in itself has no meaning. All technologies are based on science rules. But you have engineering, software engineering, software, you have apps here. Apps has very very strong mathematics background. It is not just there are just apps with some sort of algorithm. There are some mathematical formula which is working on that. Are, uh, when I say algorithm, also, again it is uh, a science only. So before I go, I will just throw some figures to you. Hopefully, uh, next six months, uh, I hope that uh, we get some good solutions for this problem. Population 139 crores and Avaisa in next 10 years, we are going to cross everyone. Now the population itself is becoming a big headache for the country. So that itself is a big problem, first. Second thing is, if figures of I love you, 58 lakhs Indians die because of diabetes, cancer, stroke, heart and lung disease every year. 58 lakhs, that's a big number. For Prime, video journalist Sanjay Naik Ponda.